We have been talking about angelic ministration and visitation. Amen. Amen. It's been a wonderful time. We we'll still continue in this because we want that to usher us into our revival. For us to know that as we are in the revival, we are not just there on our own. The Holy Spirit is working. His angels are here. Amen. Amen. We want to start being conscious of the spiritual head that God has created, that God has put around us. We said last week we don't worship angels. There is no king that worship his servant. Has it ever happened? No, no. And no king will worship his servant unless if the servant has become king. This is not president that they overthrow. Amen. He is the king of kings and the lord of lords. And he is our father. And he has given the angels to be our ministry servants. He said to those who are the ones that they have received salvation, inherit salvation. Amen. Amen. What are the things that the angels keep doing? I just want to make an example today. In the Bible, of some of the ways that the angels they walk, the things that they do, just for us to open the Bible first. Last week we were talking about the revelation for us to know that each church, the star of each church is an angel. I mean, yeah. that is what we learn. And the candlelight are we that we are inside. The church itself. Amen? Amen. And when God was writing to the seven churches in Asia, he said unto the angel, it's like God writing a letter to me and said, Rachel, I see your work. But here and here and here you still need to Amen. Amen. And if you don't stop this thing or stop that thing or stop that thing, I'm coming to pass judgment. If you read all those churches, that is what is there. So that the stars in the church can be able to be that light that shines. Or rather the candle in the church can be able to be the light that shines brighter and brighter and brighter unto the perfect day. Mm. And that is why at times you cannot understand your pastor. Because your pastor is not only relating with you, but relating with God. There are some things that look normal in your eyes. And your pastor will say does not look normal. And you'll be wondering why. Because in the eyes of God, it does not look normal. And there are times your pastor might say something you don't understand. Just as times the pastor cannot understand at times what is the happening? When are you going to know the word of God? He pains at times that God, how long will it take for a just simple kind of understanding of the word to see the transformation in the life of the people, see the glory of God, see the handwork of God in the life of the people as they respond to the truth of God. Kind of, how long will it take before they start responding as a Christian should respond to the truth of God, to the word of God? These are the burdens at times of true pastors. And those are some of my burdens. We have churches these days. We rejoice in sin. Committing sin and rejoicing in committing sin. Committing sin because of modernization, technology, and whatever it is. We make sin to look as if sin is no longer sin. Because the society approves it. Because the society says it is right. Because the psychologists that will turn the whole thing upside down, they will say it is new knowledge. It is a new revelation from where? And people embrace these things to do it and they will say nothing is wrong. And you, the pastor, carrying Bible, you wonder what is going on? What is overtaking the world? What is overtaking the church? We are entering into a season why dead people are serving God conveniently? 
in the conveniency of their life. I can only serve God when it is like this and when it is like this. In the conveniency of their life. And yet we want to see him moving on our behalf. We want to see his angels working on our behalf. But we don't even want to respond to what God said we should respond to. It's our body. It's our body. And I keep praying, Father, let the power of your word penetrate into the heart. Your word said you will give a new heart. Father, change the hearts of your people so that your word can stay. Because when the word of God stays in you, the word of God stays in me. No fake plant can germinate. Amen? Amen. No unuseful plant can germinate. I will forgot to the book of Mighty said that every plant that my father did not plant in you will be uprooted. Yes. He takes the word of God to get it uprooted. I don't know why. Amen? Yeah. I want to talk about the word of God. <laughs> Amen? Amen? But the fact is that, let me connect it, the angels respond to those who value the word of God? Who value the instruction of God? Who value the commandments of God? Look at Ezekiah. It's written in the book of Isaiah and it's also written in the book of, uh, of, uh, of uh, uh, Second Kings. Or maybe we go through it in, in, in Chronicles. I don't even know which of the verses because the man knows all about the whole place. Amen. Second Kings 19. Hezekiah, if you remember Hezekiah, what we always remember about Hezekiah is that Isaiah came to him and said he's going to die. Bible said he turned to the wall and prayed, and before Isaiah will go out of the court, God sent him back because God had his prayer. This is a man I'm talking about. This is a king that I'm talking about. This is a king that is a descendant of Ahab. Do you remember Ahab? Ahab is the one that is married to Jezebel. So he came to the, to, to the kingship. He destroys all the altars of evil. He destroys all the idols. All what his mother valued is scattered into all and burned into ashes. And God was happy with Hezekiah. Then Hezekiah faced problem. He faced a problem because the, 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 what did they call them? the countries around they were coming to come and fight against him. Sennacherib and all of them. They wanted to war against him because they've already destroyed. So they came against him. As they were coming, I think I used this to preach some time ago, but it's a different form. Anyway, praise the Lord. Isaiah, he cried to Isaiah. Isaiah told him that no problem. God is going to fight a battle for you. But the Bible said that the threat was becoming too much until this. I even like this one. I even though be here, I thought, but I like this one. Praise the Lord. Amen. And it came to pass when King Ezekiah heard it that he rent his clothes and covered himself with sackcloth and went into the house of, of the Lord too. And he sent Eliakim. Which was over the household, and the shepherd, the scribe, and the elders of the of the uh, priest, covered with a uh, sackcloth, to Isaiah the prophet, the son of Hamos, because he heard of the threat. After that, we learned when he went himself to the house of God, he went himself to go and pray prayers, and he said, God should destroy the Assyrians that are coming against him. That want to destroy him, that want to destroy the children of God. So he was crying to God, he prayed. He prayed and he prayed and he prayed. As a king that is consigned, as a physical angel that is consigned to see the word of God grow stronger, to see the power of God covering the whole place, he was crying. Not only him, but the whole Israelites also joined him. What was the result of his praying? That is where I am going to. Because it is true prayers, 35, it is true prayers that we can get God 
to send his angels to come and work on our behalf. The camp of Assyria, they came against him. And the Bible says, because of the prayer of Hezekiah, he said, and it came to pass that night that the angel of the Lord went out. The angel one. The angel of the Lord went out and smote in the camp of the Assyrians an hundred first call and five thousand. And when they arose early in the morning, behold, they were all dead corpses. Nobody tells me an amen yet. Yeah. Amen. The Bible is telling you that in the same way when you pray and you trust in God and you have faith in God and you pray prayers, he will send his angels to cut off your enemy. We learn that last week, amen? So I will send my angels before you. He told the lamb of the parasite, the intertice, I'll never forget. The Jebusite and every out of do what? In order to cut them off. Now they were coming as an army against the Israelites. Coming as an army against the church. And prayer was being made. 185,000. One angel. One night. Have you not seen prayers? I, I, I said it two weeks ago. I found our brother in this church said it. Always going through the same problem, going through the same problem, going through the same problem. Everything tight. Prophecies not fulfilled. We went to Vienna together. He was also touched with prophecy by, by, by Apostle that time. Tell me what I even already told him that I said, let's go together. Before we left, I told him this is what I saw. But still, nothing was happening in the physical. He went into three days fasting and prayer. I've mean, been how many days. I've been at seven days. You want to go? You can't go. Three days. Three. No one answered. We don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> one day, three days. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I Amen. Six days. I wanted to fast seven days. By the sixth day, or before the sixth day, he said he drank. Before you know it, somebody by me. Whom he knew that when he went home, he gave something or had something to do with that person and came back and money seized. What happened is the angel of death that went to visit that one. You can't play with your prayers. But the angels don't just visit anybody. They don't just go because you are praying. If you are not connected to God, the angels cannot answer you. If you are not humble, you are not submitted to God, the angels can no, they can't be able to respond because God will not send them. That is why it is unto those who inherit salvation. Ezekiah destroyed the idols. He destroyed all the altars. He re-established the temple. He established true worship. So God answered him because he was doing what God wants him to do. You want God to fight for you. Start learning to live like somebody who God is his master. Amen? In the verse, Ribo Sandalia. You want God to be the one to fight for you. This one says, No one grew. Amen. Amen. Now, battery finish. Okay, now put another battery. Praise the Lord. Now, this one says, No get battery. Uh -uh. Which one again? Praise the Lord. Our God is good. And all the time. No one may use my hand to the punch up. No one may use only one hand. I am not used to. Amen. So I will soon get that so I will use two hands. So he prayed. The Bible says. Uh, can you continue? Oh, she's not there. Okay. 36 said, So Sena Keri, king of Assyria, departed and went and returned and dwelt in Nineveh. And it came to pass. 
And it came to pass that as he was worshiping in the highest house of Nero, his, his God, that his children, his sons, they smote him with a sword. The one that organized the quarrel, that organized the fight. You know, like I said at times, the, the kings don't go into war, they'll send people. So it's like they send people, those people they went, they went to fight. Those ones, they, they, the angel of the Lord killed them. We learned last week, we said that the angel of the Lord had come around those who fear God, around those who are humble before God. We can see that because Ezekiah's life was the one that pleased God, was the one that honored God, was the one that reverenced God, was the one that feared God, was the one that was ready to do the things of God. When he was in trouble, he cried to God. He prayed. It doesn't matter how many the army were. They were 188,000. They have very strong walls and weapons of war. They have very strong horses and chariots. But it didn't matter the weapons that they had. It was only one angel that destroyed them all. 188,000 against very few. Can you see God because you are doing the work of God? Can you see him fighting your battles for you? Are you seeing him changing your situation? Amen. Are you seeing him silencing your enemies? Amen. Some don't have confidence to say amen. You know why? Ah, you can shout amen. You know why they don't have confidence? They don't have a relationship with God. God has saved them, but they know they pray. They know they read Bible. They say, some will just say, amen. Nothing about Bible where they know. And they feel they jealous the person will be saying, they do chaka chaka every time and reading the Bible. Then you'll be wondering why is that one enjoying. Change, oh. Amen. 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 The same thing when we look about Deborah. You see Deborah, the prophetess, in the, in, also in the Old Testament, the book of Judges. Deborah went to meet Balak and said, the Lord said you should go against this Aaron. That was it. Ah. <laughs> I'm not going to unless you go with me. There are some people so fearful. If they don't send money to all the pastors around the whole world, they will not have faith to believe something from God. It is the money that they send that is what activates their faith instead of the word of God. And that is why they have to send, and send, and send, and send, and send, and send, and send before it work. Instead of believing the word of God, and, I mean, you sow seed, not be wala. Nobody said don't sow seed. But if seed so it become your word that you believe. Okay, oh. I never see where that one for happen. Those who so seed in the Bible still believe that God is able to do it. The seed is meant to water the word. It's not that the seed represents the word. The seed does not represent the faith. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. Is it good to sow seed? Yes, so. Is it good to bless men of God and women of God? Yes, including myself. <laughs> but you have to read your Bible, you have to pray. You have to believe the words that I am speaking. Otherwise, I'll drop your money for nothing and I will be free. God will hold me responsible. Why? I'm doing my job. What is my job? Telling you what to do. Telling you how to believe the truth. The fact is that the more the word of God you know, the more you will bless me. The more you occupy, you allow the word of God occupy you, the more you will take care of the things of God. It's the truth. The more all of us will we enjoy ourselves as we worship God. So that one, and I make with the grind. <laughs> God, God, let them know the word now. It gives me freedom. Amen. Amen. Judges uh, 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 5. 
Balak went to go and fight war. Uh, sorry, Barak. I've been wondering, I said that Balak is the one of uh, the, the, the donkey animal with Balaam now. That is the one that is causing, he wanted to cause the Israelites that could not cause and tell, told the king, say, let them fornicate. Once they sin, blessing will cease. And that was what happened. And did I not use that one to teach beginning of this year? Okay. Papa goes, uh, the, the devil said, go and cause them. He went, he wanted to cause. His mouth opened and decided to bless. The one that sent the message was angry, which is Balak. Angry with Balak. I told you to cause them. Why did you cause them? Say, ah, God is controlling my mouth. I couldn't cause those whom God has blessed. But I will tell you a way that they will receive the cause automatically. And what was the way? Let them sin. Corrupt and pollute them with sin. Corrupt and pollute them with women. Then you saw those women. Those ones that they will wear clothes, it will be here. They will hear open. They did like this. Before you know, all pastors and uh, Levites and priests and uh, uh, what is the name of your remaining 12 tribe? Simon tribe and all of the tribe. What is the name of the remaining ones? <laughs> Judah, Benjamin, before you know, they, they grab women. They grab women. They, they grab women. Sin, enter. God and took it away. I mean, women are powerful men. They could not pray. I mean, woman. They could not pray. If women can attract angels, now make them fall. If we make an attract angels, angels left their heavenly places to come and sleep with women on earth. Now I talk Genesis chapter 6. Then they started giving back to giants. I was kind of, how can you leave women too sweet? If angels, holy people, created only, can look at you, women, women, I don't know the fire is that time. Can look at women and say, Papa God, collect your heaven, we don't want it. We don't go at <laughs> That means men, oh, when you were looking, you were looking, be, be careful. Be careful. At times, they don't even need to wear short clothes before they attract. Some will pretend to be the most humble person on earth. Me when a witch, <laughs> eh? Good marine power. Neither be pretend to be the most humble person. He will say, "Oh, darling, yes. Oh, my lord. Only to drag you to marine." <laughs> Spirit of discernment. I had a story of the one that married. I don't know if it is true, but man, marry. Come home. They said the, it was uh, Papa Lukoya's uh, one of his videos I had. He told the husband, he said, I am the man, you are the woman. That was a <laughs> I'm the one that married you. He said, I am the husband, you are the woman. Before you know, she turned. She turned, no. That was a when uh, <laughs> he carried. No, 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 no. What blind the eye of that man during the time of courtship? The power of a woman. So, no, no, be careful. Anyway, let me go back to my Bible teacher. Praise the Lord. But this is a woman. Deborah was a woman that held on to the truth of the word of God. And he said, Barak, just as I'm telling you now, Barak. I'm talking to people now. This is the right food things to do. They went to fight the war. 19. 5 from 5, 19 to 23. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. He said the kings came and fought. Those are the kings that came against them. Came and fought. Then fought the kings of Canaan in Tenak by the waters of Megiddo. They took no gain of money. Do you see? No selfishness. They took no gain of money. They fought from heaven. The stars in their courses fought against who? Sisera. Sisera was the enemy. But who did the fighting? The stars. Oh, sorry, you can just take it back. 
Hmm? Ah, thank you. <laughs> he said they fought from heaven, the stars in their courses fought against Israel. In Revelation, we learn that the stars are who? Angels. So when it is written here in the book of Judges, it was the stars that fought in their courses. He's telling us that the angels, they fought on behalf of uh, Prophetess Deborah and the Israelites. The sister, the sister, what is, what is his name? Died, it was Jahel that killed him. Died in the hand of the woman. Amen? Amen. Women, if they will remember, there was a time we were doing the characters of the women in the Bible. The one we were doing our Thursday, Thursday. We talk about Jael, we talk about Deborah. A long time now. I pray we'll be able to start it again because this going to school, going to work uh, aspect in the morning is depriving us. We have to change the time so that we can be able to learn some things. We are learning about the characters of the women. We learned about Abigail. That time the women were very strong. We learned about Abigail, we learned about Mary, and some of the women characters. We only concentrated on only learning about women in the Bible then. But I pray that God will give us the opportunity to do it. What I'm trying to let us know is that when the word of prophecy went out, it was the angels that brought it to fulfillment. Amen? Amen. Amen. The same way the book of Joshua. Joshua chapter 10, when the enemies, they came. Against Joshua to come and fight, to fight the people of the Israelites, because that the Gibeonites have become the servants of the of, 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 of the Israelites because they deceived the Israelites. Amen. Amen. The Bible said on that day, I'm trying to get the uh, what did they call it? The verse because I have so many verses here, and I just want only the verse that has to do with. The angels. Amen. Amen. Joshua 10 from 14. Joshua 10 from 14. Oh, sorry. Oh. Joshua 10 10. Joshua 10 10. Amen. Amen. Joshua 10 10. He said, And the Lord is confited there. That is when they were in the uh, war. Confusion came into the camp of the enemy. And the Lord discomfited them before Israel and slew them with a great slaughter at Gibeon and chased them along the way that goeth out to, to Bethora and smote them to Azekah and unto Makada. Amen. Continue. Amen. And it came to pass as they fled from before Israel and were in the going down to Beth Horon that the Lord cast down great stones from heaven. I mean, that one is fearful. Upon them, unto Azekah, and they died. And there were more which died with hailstones than they whom the children of Israel slew with the sword. Who was fighting? The angels. Amen. 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 And 14 says, And there was no day like that before it or after it that the Lord hearkened unto the voice of a man, for the Lord fought for Israel. How do God hearken to your voice? It's when you pray. He, he blesses you, but you have to pray. Your voice reaches out to God through what? Through prayer. He said, God, listen, hearken to the voice of a man. And fought because a man decided to pray. May the spirit of prayer enter into you in Jesus' name. Amen. When you pray, you give instruction. You pass judgment. Psalm 35. When you pray, you pass judgment. Psalm 35. From verse 5. That is why we pray prayers. As we are doing the work of God. As we are humble. As we are submitted to God. And the enemies are arranging. For the angels to start fighting for us. For the angels to start doing what God asked them to do. For that ministration to happen. For that visitation. Next week I'm going to deal all over the visitation. Because this is like ministration. 
this session is that they come and they announce that. They come and this is actually what they help the individual to achieve. Amen? Amen. That is what we will get next week before our revival. Because if you look, even Jesus, the Bible says in the book of Luke 24, that the angel of the Lord, why Jesus was praying, it's all attached to prayer. Why Jesus was in the garden praying, crying. Say, Lord, let the call pass me. The Bible said that the angel of the Lord came and strengthened him. So that he can be able to face the cross. Amen. That was a personal visitation and ministration. He said the angel of the Lord, Jesus needed angel while he was on earth. But it is through prayer you activate them. Through your humble spirit. The book of Psalm 35. From verse 5. When in prayer you pray like this. He said, let my enemies become like shaft before the wind. And may the angel of the Lord pursue them. Amen. What does that mean? He said, let them be as shaft before the wind and let the angel of the Lord chase them. Let their way be dark and slippery and let the angel of the Lord persecute them. And so you got five and six was okay. Amen. Yes. Praise the Lord. So you could see that as you are following God and you are aware of what the enemy is doing and you are praying prayers and you are giving instruction. Those that come to prayer meeting here, they know how we pray here. Amen? Amen. When I pray, Father, do this. I say, Father, now let your angels go. Let you consciously asking the angels to go. Consciously asking the angels to bring my blessings. Consciously asking the angels to go and fight. And as we are doing it, the light and the power of God will continually be in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So we just need to be conscious of what we need to be conscious of. God has given us all the weapons to use. He has given us the things that can make us to be strong. It is left in our hands if we are ready. Somebody owing you money, Father, send your angel to make him or I'll bring my money back. Baba God, visa, I'm waiting. Go and touch them there. When we are reading about the one, he said it made them confused. As they are gathering, saying that no, no, give and go. This one, you do this, in Papa, go and let your angel go. After all, it's what said, I will send my angels to go before you to make the way for you. But he said, don't get the angel angry. Is somebody hearing me today? Yes. Is somebody hearing me today? Yes. Amen. 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 May God allow his soul to be deep inside us. Amen. When we pray, God can send the angels because we trust the word of God. We just must always trust and believe the word of God. There is no two way about it. These are children that you need. And always there is miscarriage. Those are the works of the demons. Demons through human beings that have become witches and wizards. But as you pray to God, as you hold on to God, His angels will stop the demons from stealing what belongs to you. Is it job? It's the same thing. You will pray to God, God is releasing his help. Say, I lift up my eyes to the hills from there does my help come from my help come. From God who is in heaven. It doesn't matter what you need. Every good and perfect gift comes from God. Everything you ask from God, it is God himself that makes it to come to pass. Amen. Amen. 
women, you have it in later. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. So please, take the word of God so seriously. As much com command that you have in the word of God, and you believe it. And please don't play with speaking in tongues. The Bible tells us, I said I will say that next week. He said when we speak in tongues, it is the language of the angel. So a better way for you to instruct the angels is when you read Sandele Bubuya. Rakuta Laba Kele Rebokosa Tele Bayaga. You need to begin hold your bell. Let me cut out. You don't talk language. Everybody don't hear. The demons don't hear. Talk the one where they hear. And as I pray, receive your children in Jesus' name. Isn't it, sir? They give you negative. Carry up with your hand. As the Ezekiah did that, and God fought, sent his angel. Neither in your house. It's a business. Every time you do business, you go hook for road. Wait till now. You're not a child of God. Don't you know the things that God has given you? Don't you know the principles? You are hearing it every day. Practice it. Practice the word. Practice the word. And you will get the answer. Whatever after you have done all the rightful things that you are supposed to do, if the answer does not come, I've told us before, it means that time has not reached. But that does not mean you stop doing the right things. That does not mean you stop practicing the right thing. It does not mean you should give up. It means continually trusting God for everything that you need. And may the Lord bless His holy words in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.